Um, Harry, <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Oh, I will embarrass, don't you worry. Hello and welcome back to Sisters United. You are joined by player one. And player two. And welcome back to our not so very challenge with an adult fawn fairy who got into university. Yes! I don't know what I'm going for though. No, oh, let me go for the one that goes into the police department. As she yells from her work. And Sandy got in, so I think it means he can do any degrees and distinguished degrees. So he'll be wanting to do drama as a distinguished degree. And yeah. Harry is just calming himself down in front of the mirror. And then maybe he can play some chess with his brother, actually. Yeah, did he get an acceptance letter? He's just checking right now. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, what happens if he doesn't get accepted? There you go, he oh, got thank accepted. Thank God! <gasps> <laughs> he was not <laughs> accepted in the distinguished degree! In Foxbury. Communications in one. Oh no, Harry! <laughs> so, I think we all will be going to Brightchester, but. Unless communications helps with his uh, no, science. biology. Oh. Yeah, because he would have... Oh, well. He would have went to Foxbury if he got a distinguished degree. So that could maybe be why he's embarrassed. The shame. Uh, yeah, pretty. What did you do? Okay. <laughs> 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 I got accepted in a distinguished degree. What about you? <laughs> oh wait, Anne LeChen wants to know if she wants to go on a date. Not right now! Come on! So, wait, anyway, well, what did you get accepted in? Communications! Is that it? I don't know why! Oh dear. <laughs> I think you got me mixed up with okay. someone. No. Let's see because so that's him got a medium and short routine rope. Oh, so many children are crying. Distinguished. Getting accepted into some distinguished degrees has made Harry feel hopeful about his university experience. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's like ah! And then since him and Fawn have the same one. Being accepted into a large number of distinguished degree programs has Fawn smiling. So, I think, again, he'll not be too bothered, but he's happy for his mum. Yeah. Who, oh, you know, all her children well. have been accepted into university, so. Congratulations! Now, let me have a look at the board. I'm going to need to change it since you saw. I've got to be leaving me. I'm yeah. going back to 9 o'clock. Yes, for their little girl. Poor you Harry. Come on, brother. It's fine. You did great. You don't need a distinguished degree. He's that stressed. He's breaking out. You don't understand. I want to be a doctor. Why do you need a distinguished degree to be an actor? He's just like, oh yeah. Because I did the extra curriculums after school. Which you said was stupid. But I studied. I studied all day and night! Scary! And this is what I get for it? A green mask! A break out! <laughs> oh, it looks like Rose is trying to cheer him up a bit. You're so awesome, Harry! Aww. Right, so Fawn kept wanting to go, so maybe we'll try have a water balloon fight with some folk. Go hit me in the face! I'm just put this mask on! Oh, Rose got her Fawn. I need to get your mask! Get me in this bitch! Get it! And then we'll maybe get the little sister to perform a puppet show for everyone. That poor child. <laughs> what little Janessa? <laughs> yeah, she's getting like hit from all sides. Oh. Uh, she doesn't seem to be enjoying it now. I like how they sit down, like. Yeah. Oh, I don't like 
stop! I don't understand either. But it's 10 p.m. The play is finished. It's time for bed for little Rose. Yes. However, Fawn does not have a bedtime anymore, but his brothers do. I chose to laugh to bed. Play my thing. He's an adult though. He can go to bed whenever he wants. But if he can play it in the morning. Look at what i and then I'm sleeping, and then you're thinking about going oh. to uni. I heard you got accepted with lots of distinguished degrees. Yeah, so I'm far so proud of you. We'll maybe be saying, you know, well, he thought, you know, his mum would maybe want to wait until his brothers could uh, go in and he would go with them. Well, it is their birthday tomorrow, so I was going to wait. So we could all go. Oh, you'll be in the big proper taking care of your siblings. Yeah. Oh, the little boys curled up into a fine man. A woman. Oh, oh man, we'd be lucky to have you. Zimona, yes, and Lene could be like, you know, did you think it? How could you think any other way Fawn would grow up to be? We don't you know, we don't show it. Raising other children. Oh. Don't think about it. Uh, <laughs> He's like, wow. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> the children don't know, sweetie. Uh, and you Rock cringe at any crash oh, act yeah. anyone else does. He's got grossed out. He's gone back. He left. <laughs> I've got a bed. Ah. <laughs> he went and changed into his two pajamas. <laughs> oh no! no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to them. It's just you know. It's just part of life. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? When I had her baby. Did she? Me? Oh, I'm not sure what what gentleman it was, but oh no, they did. A wee boy called Philip. Oh, they had a boy, and they named him Philip. I would have named him something else, but I was after mother. Maybe uh, oh, one no. of Linnea's favourite stories is um, no. Sleeping Philip Beauty. The Great. Sleeping Beauty, you know Prince Philip. Yes, Prince Philip. No, darling, come here. Do you want to try? No. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, in the last episode, Lene wanted another baby, but Catherine didn't. But they weren't having any more. I like. Yes. I think they're a bit old now, isn't it? Like three days. Less than that now. Two. Oh, Linnea. Oh, Linnea. Oh, you're going to get old. It's your birthday, Harry. Yeah. Yes. Now get to bed. You turn on the light and you woke me up. You think I'm going to get anywhere with my one distinguished degree? Go. No. I didn't get sleep. <laughs> He's like, why are they talking so loud? Harry. Go to sleep, Harry. Oh, Miss you'll be okay. I saw that. Oh, oh. I'm hearing something. Come on. Come on, come Come on, come here. No. You're going to be okay, sweetie. You're going to be okay. Are you hungry? Okay, I'll make you something to eat. You sit down and I'll make you something to knock out from the fridge. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm cleaning up. No problem, ma'am. Uh, sweetheart. What are you doing? Don't you dare, Harry. Oh, hello, Bruno. How's your baby? He's beautiful. <laughs> oh, someone's grumpy this morning. So Fawn, you know, will be excited about his Christmas present to his uh, brothers. Christmas present, his birthday present. Hello! Hello! I'm hungry! Don't you dare, Fawn. He's joining the cooking, actually. I'm joining the cooking. Look, maybe you should add some more pepper to it, Mum. Why would I want it for spicy? It's eggs and toast. 
It's an omelette, actually. But it's an omelette. Yeah. Now everyone enjoy! Yabba! My invisible plate with my invisible hand. Let everyone grab a slice! You put that cake away! Put it away! Hey! Hey! Put it away! Get your omelette! No cake till later! What kind of cake would you want them to have? Oh, maybe a chocolate one. So she'll be like asking you about their newest boy. So hey, you need a boy. I always want to worry until he sleeps. He sleeps. I think it was because he was born in the morning. Oh, yeah, so you any kids were born at night? Oh, I love my little Monday bear. <laughs> I said berry instead of baby. <laughs> Well, he is a wee berry for him. Are you sure you have the smell of the omelet? Rose? No. It tastes nothing. It tastes stinks of egg. Because it's an omelet, darling. Who left rubbish on the floor? Not that! Rubbish! Okay. Uh, Catherine has received a valentine from Kingston. Uh, no. He's been trying for years. I still reject him. <laughs> Is he seriously still trying? Yep, ever since Crow. And he still doesn't realize I'm married. Okay, Harry has received a no. valentine from Talia. No, I will ignore it. Is it nice that you sent me one, but I possibly have a girlfriend? Well, they haven't asked each other out yet. Well, she wanted to go on a date with him. What? Boys have to clean this counter. It's your turn to do a lot of little candles. Okay, Fawn, let's see if you can maybe send a valent. So you want to give flowers, so is there any flowers we can go pinch? I actually, he doesn't need to do the valentines. There. We'll steal some snapdragons. Oh, Catherine has accepted the latest Valentine and sent her one back. Thank you so much, Lonnie, for my Valentine. I just love it. I love how thoughtful you are. I love you, So she's done. Making this out and then go make a fruit pie. Right, so let's see. Don't your candles till I'm back. Harry, you can send a Valentine to Anne Le Chen. <gasps> She ignored it! Oh no! Well, I guess that ship is sealed. <laughs> What's up? The very kid, she rejected my Valentine's. <laughs> she, she just uh, plays hard to get, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Brother, maybe you should just try one more time. That sounds like an email. Maybe she's more of a face to face contact rather than a. Valentine's email. And we'll send one to our friend. And it's not like anything romantic, it's just more like be my Valentine, tee hee. <laughs> Will you accept me? Oh, at least Mum would. Oh, fuck, <laughs> sweetheart. Well, maybe the name is it. Take Who was born first, Sandy or Harry? Harry. Harry. Was it Harry? Yeah, Harry was born first. Right, so Harry gets to blow out the candles first. Hey, here I go. Oh, oh, happy birthday. No, he disappeared. He's just there. I'm <laughs> hearing deep voices. Oh, does it not work? Oh, for God's sake. Right, really? so I'm going to randomise it. Self-assured, which I think works right. for Sandy. <laughs> Oh, I'm having another go at it. How'd you go? Oh. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, brother. High maintenance. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's maybe correct. Like, you can see his shape's much more <laughs> no so wet. Uh, they've got very broad Skinny. shoulders like their granddad. Yeah, actually. Oh, my baby's so good. Oh. 
Right. <laughs> so, we'll take the cake with us and we will travel to the park. Now come on, everyone. Um, Harry? <laughs> Sandy? <laughs> Oh, I will embarrass, don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe even get up to dress up nicely for it and everything. Oh, great, what do you think he's talking about? Oh, I keep thinking that's... Uh, every time I see that jumper, I think of Yoko. And I think of... Um, Minto. Yeah. The, remember the day, Sandy, that you fell. <gasps> oh, hey, and Lachin! No! Is it, I guess what everyone? Harry's not going on that date. Where? <laughs> she texts me. I'm sorry. Let's get it! 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 Let's get <laughs> Just don't worry, I'm gonna be singing you both a serene after this. Because he loves them. Because <laughs> I love you so much, and I wouldn't be who I am without my two baby brothers. Right, so here he goes. <coughs> No wait, actually, brother, you sounded like a total dead cat. I know that dance. That's from MMD. Uh, that that's um. Oh, I can't even remember what it's called. Pop dreaming or something like that. He's been practicing. He's hiding all those things from us. I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm going. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't have this for a um, Lampy. Yeah. Or no, Saren. I said, yeah. But oh, look at them all, just sitting, waving their arms, just enjoying it. They're like, okay. well, like, shake it, brother. I don't realise how much I practiced for this. <laughs> I know that dad swells the same people who did Marine Dreamin. Oh, there's our mum. There's mum cheering her on. Did you hear that scream? <laughs> Police officer or comedian, he would have made it into the singer. I'm certain it's showing it off. That's what he's doing. <laughs> oh, the police force are gonna love having you. Oh, yeah, because I'm Bruno's the chief. You're doing great, Brady. Keep going. Oh, this is the first time doing this routine. At least he's doing something. Oh. It's about museums, isn't it? Yes, it is. Remember that art museum that we were forced to go to? Yeah, he did a lot of silly stuff. What do you mean? I don't know if I was meant to tell you that. I think that is probably enough for this night. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I, I will. Yeah. So we'll end the gathering and we'll send them home. Maybe she's upset. Maybe she's upset because all of our brothers are moving away to university. Yeah. Don't go. Oh, I have to. I have to go. But come here. I'll call and I will visit. Don't you worry. Come here. Yes, so. And you keep studying. 
Make mum happy. Let's send them home because we're just going to have fun move out with his twins right now. Once they're yes. back home. So, let's go to the bed and then, we can, then you can go tomorrow. No, we're going as soon as we get home. What? No. No. I must not. He's like, but mum, that way we can get settled in tonight. And then go to uni the next day. Like you want. But, but you can go tomorrow. You can go tomorrow. They'd be late for uni. No. <laughs> stop, stop, stop being an ass. So we're all going to Brightchester. So he needs... We need to find one with the police. Oh, I knew it. It's Foxbury that we have his one. Oh, is it? Right, but he's a lazy person, I think. Right. Okay. We here. Let's see. Where will they sleep? Do you so think so Fawn, a room or do you think Fawn would be bothered about a roommate? Probably not. With this person, Makoto. And then, sorry, people, these are going to be the twinsies' room. <laughs> yep. Sandy and Harry. Are <laughs> to they be watching fair, TV? Paul, you've, you've never really seen TV. Seen, you've never heard about it. You've never really seen it before. <laughs> it's like a TV. What big right. one place have you come from? Okay, so let me see. So I'm going to put your thing there. And then you can go start capturing information. Your one can go there. And you can start capturing information. And your you've got two. Two, do you? Let's see. Give a presentation. Take files and oh yeah, he's got two presentations to do. Oh, Harry. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> no rest. Get win. I've got two! No rest for the wicked, there you go. So is that definitely now Harry's bed? Yes. So we'll just have them capture their information first and foremost and then we'll have a wee nosy about because for the next episode I will have other characters that we know as roommates so some of his friends can come yeah. To university, not all of them, but some of them, and peaches. I think we were bringing along as well. Yes. Do you want to bring Anne Lechen or we can do for the drama for Harry, but maybe <laughs> yeah. she made it quite clear because there is as well. I although the um, are in this one, we can always replace it with a, a like with a better one. As yeah. well. So <clears throat> let them just capture their first lot of information and then we'll let them go to bed. Yeah, Ooh, ah. They've got class in two days. So so that's their first board. So that's Harry's one. <laughs> yeah. There's his one. And there is his one. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know what that picture is. But I think <laughs> that is going to be where we leave it off for this episode. So if you've enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. And in the next episode, we will be at university with Fawn, just Harry and Sandy will become his roommates. We will just um, make sure we have everyone else that we want present here. Unless player two wants to control them for a bit. For a little bit, at least. For a little bit, okay, right. So we'll bring Just to make on. sure that they're going to succeed in their course. Well, I would, I would make sure they did. I would give them the trait that they had their grade. All right. But, aye, so we can play them for a wee bit, but they're not the main focus that it's no. on. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.